Hey guys, this is Aaron from RF Digital with another example of how Simbly connects everyone and everything. Today we're going to show you how to set up communication between two Simblies using UART. We can use this method to create an interface between different devices. I have with me the Simbly development kit number RFD77803. Let's take a look at the final result and then I'll walk you through the setup. Let's get started. For this example, we'll read the current temperature and pass it to a second Simbly. When we receive this data, we'll determine if it meets the hot threshold and display a visual indicator accordingly. Take a look. I'm using two RGB LED shields, two Simbly breakout boards, and two AAA battery shields. I have two wires cross-connected between the TX and RX pins on each Simbly device, and a shared ground. Now we'll turn on the devices. You'll notice that our receiver turns blue. We obviously haven't reached the threshold yet. If I place my finger on the transmitter assembly and wait a few moments, my body heat should help to exceed the threshold and our LED will turn red. If I remove my finger after a moment, the LED will return to blue as we fall below the threshold. Let's look at the code. First, we'll walk through the sketch for our temperature receiver. I've defined a few variables. The hot variable defines the threshold we talked about earlier. If the temperature exceeds this reading, we'll turn our LED red. And if it falls below this temperature, we'll turn our LED back to blue. I've defined those LED pins here. Let's proceed to our setup function. Our setup function is very basic. We merely need to set the pin modes and values correctly and start UART communication. Let's move on to the loop function. We'll check if there's data available via UART, and if so, read it into the tempval float variable we defined above. We'll also set the new temp indicator. Since our new temp indicator is set, we'll call the update temperature function and return the new temp indicator to zero. Pretty basic, right? Let's take a look at the update temperature function. It's simple. If the temperature is above the hot threshold, we turn off our blue LED and turn on the red LED. If the temperature falls below that threshold, we'll reverse the process displaying the blue LED. Now we'll take a look at the temperature transmitter sketch. I've defined a few variables that we'll use throughout the sketch to track the last time we transmitted and the transmit timeout. Our setup function is very basic, merely setting the pin mode and value and starting UART communication. So we'll move directly to the loop function. First, we'll determine if we transmitted within the last timeout period. If we haven't, we'll read the current temperature and send it using the serial.write function. We also need to set our last send variable to the current runtime in milliseconds. That's it. For more videos like this, visit our Simbly YouTube channel. And for more information on our products, visit Simbly.com. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.